back to Casa Fiore's Cucina. Fall is in the air. Can you smell it? Can you see it? It's a quintessential experience. And so that means it's time for crock pots, rich sauces, and apple bennies. And nothing says I love you more than a mason jar full of freshly fermented sauerkraut from your favorite Italian-American, right? It's so darn easy to make. It's so darn good. It's the best sauerkraut you might ever have. And it gives you an excuse to get out of Dodge, hit one of those pumpkin farms, and look for all the heirloom goodies and fall tasty. Yes, I do. <laughs> We're here at Shoe Farms, Pumpkin Farm. Look at all those babies out there. But the most awesome thing for someone like me that loves to savor pumpkins is to buy fresh, beautiful heirloom pumpkins you can't readily find in Seattle. one of these. Oh my god! This will make the best sauerkraut. <laughs> How big is that one? 26 pounds. Wow! Got the loot. I'm almost just shaving off hair like thin strands of this cabbage. It will break down with the salt, but you do want to start with it being fairly thin. I'm going to put it into my big bowl, and now I'm going to add the salt. So you're gonna massage and squeeze and work that salt in there. It's very simple. Three pounds of cabbage, a tablespoon and a half of salt, and a teaspoon of caraway seeds if you're into that. Now comes the fun part. You get to make a mess! <laughs> So I've packed my kraut into these jars and you can see the liquid that's coming off. I'm gonna keep on packing it and extract more liquid. And for the next 24 hours, I'll watch it. If I need to add more water, I can do that. You'll see that in the recipe that I'll post. And then after three, five, seven days, as I taste it along the way, I'll know when it's ready for my hot dog. You see that? Those are the bubbles of fermentation. That's from the natural airborne yeast found on the cabbage. That's how we make this ferment. We're about 72 hours into it. I kept on pressing down periodically, and I've added a little bit of water to each of these jars along the way. Let's try it out. Let's see. Let's see. Mmm. We're getting there. We're getting close. Voila! And it's done. Check it out. And now it's time for a little lunch. I've dressed mine with of course, the sauerkraut and a little bit of Dijon mustard. Mmm. It's got the right crunch, the sweetness, that tanginess of a really good sauerkraut. Thank you for tuning in to Casa Fiore's Cucina. Check out a farm to table experience near you to make sauerkraut. Yeah, even Italian Americans like sauerkraut on a hot dog. Change has come, she's under my thumb.